And welcome back to this blind let's play of Pokemon Generation 2. Um, still unsure which game it actually is. I keep telling myself before recording each episode. Hey, find out which game this actually is before you start playing it again. And every single time I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it before I start playing. And every single time I forget it. Uh, anyway, welcome back. I am Biting Gamer. In the last episode, we cleaned out the Bell Sprout Tower, also known as Sprout Tower. Experience that we have to Pokemon um, without any major difficulties. And now we're gonna have some major difficulties. I think I still haven't been inside the damn gym, but I'm just assuming that the gym will feature Bird Pokemon because of its name of the trainer. And that means I will struggle quite a bit. Uh, first of all, we're out of Pokeballs after catching a Ghastly. Which means we have to really count. Ooh, maybe we can use Ghastly. Can't we? Because normal types are ineffective against Ghastly. And he can just hypnotize and lick them back. Well, he's a backup plan here, definitely. I guess it's a flying or a ground. No, wait, what? No, never mind. Ghastly is my. The elegant. Yeah, there we go. The elegant master of flying Pokemon. Hello, old man. Oh, hey, what? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you our trainer? Battle gym leader. Win, you did? No? Is that so? Then study you, shall you. Follow. What? Are you high or just incredibly effeminate? And once again, I mean nothing to do about that. Here, teacher I am. Go good it is you study here. Sent the teacher I was missing earlier. Good to know that the spinning old guy was a teacher, I guess. Uh, you know what? Without any further ado, let's go battle Faulkner. Ooh, we have this guy again. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe, a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against flying type. Keep this in mind. Well then, screw, screw Chiku, Chikaru, Chikit, Chikitita, Chikit, 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 Chicken Titi. Um. Ugh. Hello. What kind of flying Pokemon have we met so far, anyway? Pidgeys and Hoot Hoots? Is this basically the Hoot Hoot game, Jim? I kind of hope so. Hello, Bird Keeper Abe. That's a cute name. I just kept. Ooh, Sparrow. I always like Sparrow. Abe just makes me think of the Simpsons. Grandpa Simpson, Abe Simpson. Chiquitita, can you even take a level 9 Sparrow? I'm actually not sure, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, Peck is a flying type, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes, it is. It's super effective. I don't like that. Um, I think once again our backup will have to be Ghastly. But hopefully we can earn some levels here with Chiqu Chiqu Chiquitita. <laughs> Until we meet Faulkner himself, and then just cheapingly, cheap-ishly put on uh, Ghastly and be like, hey, you can't touch me. No, 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 no. Bird Keeper Abe was defeated because he only had one Pokemon. This can't be true. It is. You better believe it. Uh, we're gonna heal up because I don't want Chikitita to die. Yes, it's 3 a.m., I know. My fault. I'm a night person. <laughs> I'm a student, so I mean, come on. I'm gonna assume this is not Faulkner. Why is this shaped like an S, by the way? The keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. Well, it's night, so you got that right. You're training both day and night. Bird Keeper Rod wants to battle. Sparrow? Pidgey? Pidgey. I like Pidgey. It's a cute Pokemon. Go Chiquitita. Tackle him to death with your fancy leaf on your head thing. Chiquitita, use Tackle! Oh yeah, use Tackle, that's good, Pidgey. Because it won't damage me, whatever. So it's great! Pidgey fainted. I was hoping for like a more flying-type Pokémon from Generation 2. It would be good, fun to see instead of like Pidgeys and Sparrows and stuff. Well, I have some Hoot Hoot, which of course charmed me to death. Uh, but I was hoping to see somebody else too, like the the Pokemon that I caught for my friend, the um, Steel Flyer thingy, which I think looked pretty cool if I remember correctly. I was just very proud that I catched caught it. 
Oh, of course, you're critical hit whenever you're tackle. Okay, now, Chiquitita, it's time for you to battle to your death, I think. Where's this Faulkner? Because I assume he's up here ahead. Gah! Faulkner's skills are for real. Don't get cocky just because you beat me. That kind of looked like an emo kid, but I'm gonna give him the benefit. Hey, Barry only healed 10 HP, well, whatever. I don't have hopes that Chiquitita will survive this battle anyway, so hello! I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say that you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I think it's kind of cool to have a bird trainer. We don't we didn't have that in Generation 1, did we? Wow! That's some here. Two Pokemon, we can do this. Sent out Pidgey! Good starts. Level 7? We only just beat level 7 Pidgey. Maybe Chikitita has a fighting chance after all. Ooh, especially with critical hits. Color me impressed. Maybe we don't have to use Ghastly after all. Knock on wood. Well, Pidgey was a pushover. Leader Faulkner is about to use Pidgeotto at level what? Level 9? How early did you evolve your Pidgeotto? Oh, damn. Gust is a flying type, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so Chikitita is gonna die unless it crits and unless I heal, but I'm not gonna bother healing. <laughs> you know what? Come on. Critical hit and flinch and then miss or something. I don't know. Or, okay, never mind. Well, Chiquitita has to lose sooner or later. Didn't have high, ho high hopes for him here, and he survived anyway, so... Uh, okay, our backup is Ghastly. Uh, but we're gonna try Spinarak first. I mean, who knows? I know he's probably weak against Flying-type too, but... Um, I just wanted to try. <laughs> it would be kind of funny if we, like, suddenly got him down. Can you do something else on Gust, you idiot? Okay, Ghastly, it's your time to shine, buddy. Yeah, 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 poor Spinarak. Ghastly! Hey, it hits? I thought it was a normal type. At least you have Hypnosis, that's good. Can you paralyze him too now? Wow, this is suddenly much more scarier. Oh, it does- Oh, what, 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 what? Okay, retreat. Uh, Rocky. We're gonna lose. I don't wanna lose. Okay, good, good, good. Can we have some kind of awesome attack right now? Like, uh, tackle? At least he's asleep for a long time. That's positive. Oh, God, we're gonna die. Unless we're super, super lucky, we're gonna die. Oh, we're getting, we're getting close. Bud slap? What? Oh, that's a bitch. Damage is basically a stand attack with damage. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, you hit! Oh, Rocky, I love you. Oh, I'm so relieved right now. I was so sure that we were gonna lose. I guess the level up too. Oh, great. So this was totally on purpose. We defeated Falconer. I'm actually proud of myself, so that was difficult. Darn! My dad's cherished bird Pokemons. Train your own Pokemon, you idiot. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Sephir badge. Ooh, 900 bucks. Thank you. Lash received Cipher Badge! Wow, that was a new victory sound. It raises the attack power of Pokémon. It also enables Pokémon to use Flash, if they have it, anytime. Here, take this too. Received random for TM31. By using a TM, a Pokémon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, a TM can only be used once. Ooh, Mudslap, yeah. 
Yeah, I like that one. I'm glad I got it. Uh, let's see here. Who can learn Mud Slap? Spinner Rack? Yes. Why? Aw, okay. But Chikatita can learn it. What about Slash? I don't want to learn it too. Chikatita, Spinner Rack. Okay, who choose? Spinarak and Chikatita are so far the only ones I want to keep in my party just because I like them. Um, I like Hutu too, but <laughs> I don't know. I I'm gonna see if there are other better bird Pokemons out there. What do you have to say now, buddy? Nice battle! Keep it up, and you'll be the champ in no time at all. Well, there's like seven more badges to go, but... But, Professor Elm... Hello, Lars! We have discovered something about the egg! My assistant is at a Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you go talk to him? Well, I see in Violet City, and why should I care about something about the egg? Do I still have the egg, by the way? How can I hatch it? By throwing it to the ground? <laughs> I guess that's one way. I wonder how Pokemon egg actually tastes. A boiled Pokemon egg. Soft boiled. <laughs> Yummy. Well, you deserve a good rest now, Chikatita and Spinarak, even though you failed. But you're a grass Pokemon, so I forgive you. Hello! Dodge! Long time, no see! Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Will you take the Pokemon egg? Sure! I thought I had it. <laughs> Wait, a Pokemon egg uses up a space? A f <laughs> what? Yeah, that's weird. Uh, Polly. Goodbye for now, even though I like you. Let me get the Pokemon egg then. Yeah, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Would like to pick a Pokemon. Lars received the egg. Or egg. We discovered that the Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Lars, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg, ha egg hatches. So I'm walking around now with an egg in my inventory? No, it. In my. It moves around inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. Okay. Interesting. Um, I was thinking now, since we have some more minutes in this uh, episode, is that we go back and battle young youngster Joey. Since he called us in, not the last episode, but the episode before that again. And I'm kind of curious. Oh, hello, by the way. Aww. I thought you might have something already. Whatever. Youngster Joey, who we battled with in the beginning, called us and was like, Hey, I want to fight you, because screw you, I like you. Uh, and of course then I'm like, oh, Hey, I want to fight you too, so I'm going to be there in a second. And we kind of didn't, but it's not too far, and we have some minutes in this Let's Play video, so... Was it you? No, you're a... Yeah, you're one of the balls and you're a true canter P trainer. But you were just around the corner down here, weren't you? You're... this guy! I've been waiting! Let's battle now! Sure, I hope you're much better. Not too much, though, but still, a bit. Hope you have more than one Rattata. I spoke too soon. Youngster Joey sent out Rattata. <laughs> level 4! Okay, you doubled in level, at least, I think. But that's one tackle, you're dead. But at least, no, I won't even level up on that. Get two tackles in your deck. <laughs> but that's so weird. I like that though. That the, 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 I can't speak today. I like that the trainers that you faced before can suddenly be like, "Hey, babe, let's fight." I, I like that. <laughs> I'm dug gone. I lost again. I'll ring you whenever I get the urge to battle. Well, I hope you're better next time. But his Pokemon were better. You saw that, right? I thought maybe in the beginning that maybe if they called you for a battle, they would be like at the same level and you could just use new Pokemon to train them on a trainer instead. But obviously not. Ooh, a Zubat outside of a cave. Color me impressed. Well, I don't have a Zubat. I think I can capture one which is an ordinary Pokeball without any damage. Let's try it out. I'm gonna need a Zubat sooner or later anyway. Okay, never mind. You're just gonna leech uh, life from me anyway, so I'm just gonna run away. I don't need that drama. Well, I level up soon, though, so maybe I should kill him just for level. <sighs> yeah, sure. Whoops! Yeah, we're not gonna level by growling at the opponent, Chiquitita. 
God, I got that song so stuck in my head. I should change his nickname to something less catchy. Can't believe you had this much trouble with Subat. Finally. Yes, level up, level 15. Congrats, Chiquitita. Trying to learn Poison Powder. That's better than Growl, at least. I don't really like... Ugh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't really like it, but... I like Growl much less than Poison Powder. So congratulations, Chiquitita. Uh, let's just get back to the city now. Oh, wait, no, we were supposed to go into the Flash Cave, weren't we? We got a Flash thing, so... I guess we got a Flash things. <laughs> we got a Flash HM, so I guess we're gonna start flashing our way through that cave. You know what, Subad? I don't want you. Knowing this, or knowing the Pokemon games and games in general, there'll be a ton of you around the corner, so... Hootoots! Flash it up! A blinding flash lights the area. <laughs> Can you believe I actually found my way down to... <laughs> that one potion that was there earlier? I can't believe that. Oh, there's a Geodude again. They're only like level 2, right? Okay, level 4, but... <sighs> Still, I'm not gonna bother catching them, actually. I just think I'll meet better Geodudes later on, and I have a Rock-type Pokémon, or... Okay, we're not going this... Is that strength that's, like, needed to break that thing open? It's bound to be a secret item here somewhere, right? No, but apparently Pokémon. Okay, so we're not going into the Dark Cave, apparently. A lot of disappointment. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Because I'm not blind here, right? It, I, I don't know what... Like, it's a dead end. We can't get through there. We don't have... It's not like that stone is going to be broken by mud slap or anything, right? So... Speaking of mud slap, I should probably learn that to Chiquitita. I like that move. Uh, no, not Pokémon, but Pack. Mud slap! I put it up a TM. Keep mud slaps to a Pokémon. Yes, Chiquitita. Trying to learn Mudslap, but you can even know what we're doing for moves. Mudslap? Yes. Reflect. Chiquitita forgot Reflect and learned Mudslap. That's nice. Uh, okay, apparently not going into the dark cave yet. Uh, is there a new berry here yet? No. Maybe it doesn't regrow, I don't know. I kind of thought with all of this... Um, Daytime brought into this game, like there's both night and day, that it would matter. Maybe, like, they could regrow berries and such, but. Well, it hasn't even been a day since I started playing this, so. Okay, whatever. I'm just speaking like an idiot right now. Hello, Polly, I don't need you. Chiquitita. You're so cheeky, Chiquitita. Uh, okay. Da, la, 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 la. Uh, so apparently there has to be a, like a way out of this town. I think down here was a dead end, so I'm gonna check up here instead. Jim, here was the weird guy dancing around. Here was this guy who saw a squiggly tree. She uses the name of her favorite things to eat for the nickname she gives her Pokemon, I mean. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Well, I called my green leaf thing for Chikorita, so I guess we're both kind of weird. No, I'm not weird. I'm normal. Do Okay, there's a road here at least. That's promising. Ooh, Route 36. Great! From... Yeah, where do you lead? UK and oh hello, do you want to fight? No, an old tree is blocking the way to Golden Rod City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. This is a girl after my own heart right here. She's like, my shopping! I can't shop! Why? I was going to snap that tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. That's a weird looking tree. 
I'm gonna assume that this is a Pokemon actually, like Snorlax. So this is like the nose of the Pokemon or something, and it's like an underground Diglett kind of deal, I don't know. What kind of Pokemon can I catch here? Can I catch Scrootoots maybe? That seems to be the... Ooh, Spinarak again, I already have you. Ooh, you're so cute. Level 4, but I already have a better Spinarak, so I'm sorry, I'm just gonna catch you. I do like you though. Okay, there's a little spinner rack there that I'm not gonna bother. Maybe get a male spinner rack, so I have a couple. Oh, it would be so cute having spinner rack ch children. Because maybe, yeah. Ooh, so games are a part of this game. I remember that I've seen Pokemon eggs before, like Togepi, you know, in the enemy and so on. And I know it was implemented in the game, so maybe it's already. Uh, like in in Generation 2. Is it a strange train to road? That may explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. Mystery Stone Panel Chamber. Hello, welcome to this chamber. There are sliding panels that depict a Pokemon drawn by the ancients. Slide the panel is turn around to form the picture. To the right is a description of the Pokemon. Scientists in the back are examining some newly found patterns. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know what this is. Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd. They weren't here a little while ago. You should take a look at the walls. Patterns appear on the walls. Uh, yeah, no. I am not drunk enough to read that. A Pokemon that hid on the sea floor. Eyes on its back scan the water. Cobbitops? Oh no, not mini games like this. I hate mini games like this. Finding the edges. I see edges here. Oh, but it is Cobbitops! Isn't it? It is, isn't it? I am a Pokemon master. I am a brilliant guy. Kind of. I'm just not that good with puzzles. I did it! Aww, it's a cute Kabutops. I like Kabutops. No, Kabuto. Uh. Uh. Did I just do something, like, horribly wrong? Am I in a dungeon that I shouldn't be in? I, I expect, like, zombies and mummies to pop out right now. What the hell is that? Wild, you know, unknown appeared. Go Chiquitita, level 5. Okay, we can take down that at least with a race release. What is that? Well, it's weak, whatever it is. 43 experience points, wow. Uh, what is this place? This is so weird. <laughs> what? It looks like a driving wheel kind of thing. Tackle then? Like, is that weak enough to kill so I can catch you? Can I even catch you? You look like missing no. Hidden power. I am so confused, you have no idea, but let's catch one anyway. That one looked cute, I guess, so... <laughs> okay, great. Are we gonna damage me for one again? Or is this like... Is this some kind of mood that is like random stuff it does? No, apparently not. Not very effective. Okay, we're gonna poison you then. No, we're not. Oh, can you please stop using hidden power? I'm so tired of it, I'm just gonna skip it with my speed up button. 
let's try to catch you one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna assume you can't be caught, and I'm just gonna run away. Okay, you can be caught. Unknown was caught. You known data was newly added to the Pokedex. Because different types of you known exist. Yeah, no kidding. I've seen like four of them already. That they must have a variety of abilities. <sighs> no, you're just gonna stink up my computer forever. I think. I saw a ladder there, but I should explore this floor first, right? Maybe not. Can we meet some- <laughs> It's the same one I have, too. I have no idea what these things are supposed to resemble. They just look crazy. Kind of look like a globe, you know? When it can, like, twirl around and be like, Hey, I, this is a country. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, you look like a pitchfork. That's cute. But we're not going to bother fighting you, because you just use a hidden power which damages me for one and I earn nothing in experience. Can I stop meeting you and Owens? Or you knowns? Ooh, this is the first Pokemon we saw all the way in the beginning, like the radio tower thing that we saw in the intro. Interesting. But... I don't see the point there. Do I have to catch every single different type? Because that's not going to happen. If that's true, let, but that's really lazy. Like five of the same Pokemon and they're all different Pokemon, that would be so lazy. So I'm not gonna bother. It already says I captured it, by the way, so. This is so weird, I don't get this place at all. At least I survived. Hello, who are you? While exploring the ruins, I suddenly noticed an odd presence. We all got scared and ran away. You should be careful, too. The ruins had a huge secret. I think. Uh, I have no idea where we are right now, though. Like... Can we go up here? Oh! That's where we fell down. And the uh, woman here has conveniently disappeared. She was like, oh crap, kid died on my watch. Better run away. Hello, Pokemon appeared in the ruins? That's incredible news. We'll need to investigate this. Wow, oh, the investigators in this game are so bad. The strange Pokemon you saw in the ruins? They appear to be very much like the drawings on the walls here. Hmm, that must mean there are many kinds of them. Yeah, I guess. I guess it has to mean something. Yeah, okay, so let's check out what's over here then. Uh, I have no idea. Hello, Ruins of Alf. A look and touch tourist site. Try and sliding stone panels. Well, yeah, I did and it almost killed me. You're studying the ruins? I see a scientist in the making. I don't. Uh, I have no idea where, I'm, where I am right now, actually. Oh. Hello? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, please take this. It increases the power of Grass-type moves. What? Miracle Seed? What, what, what? I don't... What is Miracle Seeds? Powers of Grass-type moves. Hold. So Chikitita can just hold a Miracle Seed and just be better at fighting now? It's confusing for a poor generation one player such as myself. <gasps> what is this and how can I catch it? It's a whooper! It's like a Big Mac thing! I want it! Poison it! It's cute! It's a Christmas tree tadpole! Oh, and it's wagged his tail at me and that's so even- Oops, no, not tackle! I, I didn't mean tackle! I was gonna say mud. Ooh, okay, never. Mind. No, he's gonna die from poison. I was gonna mud slap him to death. No, not to death, but like. Ah. He was so cute too. Twenty nine experience points. That's so adorable. Can we catch him now? Hello, I want to fight you. I think. I haven't seen you around before. So you think you're pretty tough? No, but I do think I'm pretty. Haha. <laughs> oh, a youngster again. 
Youngster Albert wants to battle. Youngster Albert's in that Rattata. What a surprise. What do you have next? A Pidgey? Level 6. That's a huge disappointment. Now I'm used to level 9 Pidgeotos. Okay, I see we're at the 30 minute point right now, so after this battle we're just gonna save and call it a uh, day. Uh, hopefully next time we play we're gonna play in a different uh, time setting, because of course I've been doing this first four episodes in one sitting if you can't figure it out. Uh, and Yeah, it's always been night. I want to see this game during the day. Oh yeah, it was Zubat by the way. Impressive-ish. I couldn't capture a Zubat, so... Ugh, supersonic. Where's the bitter berry when you need it? Am I right? Am I right? Oh, I like the new Confucian thing, though. Enemy Zubat used Leech Life. That's me leeching life. If you hit yourself again, we're gonna have to rely on Spinarak here after a while. Which would not be pretty. Chikitita is confused! Well, you killed yourself, Chikitita. Congratulations, you suck. Uh, where is Spinarak? There you are. Can you set the egg out to battle? That would be kinda cool. Oh, I wonder how Leech, uh, how Leech Life would do against... Okay, not very effective. That's nice to know. But Poison should be weak against... Or Subet should be strong against Poison types too. So it will be a battle of infinity. Like, he will Leech my life, I will attack him for very, very little, and it just won't go anywhere. Youngster Joe Albert put up more of a fight than I thought. Ew, we're actually gonna struggle. This is embarrassing. Please. Oh, good. I was starting to worry for a moment that confusion always resulted in you attacking yourself, because it seemed that we were Chikorita, but... Chikitita Rikorita. <sighs> yeah, this is not fun. This is actually kind of difficult. So, Ghastly... Time to lick it up. Ouch, she can't actually leech, leech life on Ghastly? But it's not very effective, so there's that. Fall asleep, Zubat, I'm gonna kill you now. That's probably gonna be a loud snore if Zubat snores. This is a loud mouth. Can we paralyze him too now, please? Lick. I like that move. Won't help you one bit, buddy. Can you imagine a more creepy Pokemon, by the way? First of all, he, like, hypnotizes them to sleep, and then he licks them? That spells creepy. C-R-E-E-B-Y. Grammar is hard. At least we're gonna kill Sue, but we used like three minutes in this guy, that's so embarrassing. He's like a youngster, and we're like, oh, we can't defeat uh, his powerful Subat. <laughs> we don't have the right Pokemon types, okay? Ugh, he wakes up so early every single or not. He wakes up so much quicker than I do when I'm asleep or confused. At least Ghastly finally was able to pull down. Too bad. And yeah, guess there's a level up too. Impressive. Spite! Not spit. That would be kind of even cooler, like you hypnotize someone to sleep and then you lick them and spit on them. You're strong too, actually, Albert, but I don't want your phone number in case you're gonna ask me. Aw, that's actually kind of cute, but your favorite is actually... Okay, we're gonna... Where are we? I have no idea where we are. Oh, I want that thing. Pell. Oh, it's like the don't touch me thing. Too bad it doesn't work for trainers. I just walked straight into one. At a glance, it's intriguing. I really need to save and get out of this, but I want to like heal up and be like good to go in the next episode as quickly as possible. Hello, handsome. Camper Roland. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we have a male Nidoran. I like the Nidoran family. I think they're adorable. Let's go, Hootoots. 
I only got one chance of Hutu here, and that's to flash them to death. Which I know doesn't work like a damaging move, but maybe they'll miss more and Hutu will survive everything. Curiously sharply fell, please. Just keep going, Hutu, as much as you can. I believe in you. Then we'll send on Onyx or something and we'll finish off the job. You did your job, Hutu. You did your best. I'm proud of you. Maybe a spinner rack? Why not? You're pretty evenly uh, leveled. I was hoping you would miss more. Well, okay, never mind. Onyx! Or Rocky! Time to show what you're made of. Stone. Balls of stone. I should be pretty strong versus that, right? Yeah. Thank you. It failed! You fail at life, Nidoran. Are we really gonna die here and black out? That would be so embarrassing. At least it's starting to miss quite a lot thanks to Hoot Hoot. I just had to say it, but come on, you're strong against ordinary tackles, Rocky. Rocky Belbala. Okay, this is working. We're gonna get him down. We're gonna take him down, boys. Come on. We're fine. We're fine. No problem. Good. Good, 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 good. Just one or two more attacks and we're done. Okay, one more attack and we're done. Doesn't matter. We're gonna pound you. Noob. Spin record level 9. That's cute. Rocky gained a boost of 85 experience points and leveled to level 7. Ooh, at least we defeated Camter Roland. I like the name Roland, though. Hmm, this is disappointing. Your shorts are disappointing. Anything to say? If you don't want to battle, just avoid eye contact. Well, that's easier said than done when you're appearing out of nowhere. Please don't meet any wild Pokemons. Please don't meet any wild... Ooh, that's tricky. But I did it. Are you friendly? How would you like to have this taste nutritious slow poke tail? For one million bucks. Yes. Never mind. Who the hell wants to buy a slow poke tail? Okay, in the next episode we're just gonna have to figure out um Oh yeah. An old rod? Oh great, we're gonna capture a Magikarp. Uh, in the next episode, sorry this ran over time, in the next episode we're gonna try to figure out where we are, because I have currently no idea. What should I make my Pokémon hold? Maybe an item that increases attack power, like a Miracle Seed? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, in the next episode we're gonna find out where we actually are, because I have no clue. At least we're not totally under leveled or anything, so it seems like we're on the right spot, but I'm so confused as to where we are supposed to go right now. So anyway, I have been a Biting Gamer, I'll see you in the next episode where we figure out where to go. Until then, toodaloo and sleep well and everything like that.